Hi, I'm Mike from WindowsLatest.com. At WWDC 2025, Apple introduced a new look for Mac OS called Liquid Glass. It's shiny, translucent, and gives apps a smooth, glass-like background. But for longtime Windows users, this might feel familiar. Back in 2006, Microsoft introduced something very similar called Aero Glass in Windows Vista and 7. While Aero is no longer part of modern Windows, there's still a way to bring it back right now on Windows 11. An open source app lets you restore that classic Aero Glass feel on your Windows 11 desktop. It works well and doesn't require any deep system changes. We tested it on stable builds and it ran smoothly. It's not perfect on preview builds, but for most people, it works just fine. All you need to do is download the latest version of the app from the video's description, extract it to any drive except your C drive, and launch it. When it opens, click Install, then switch to the Symbol tab and hit Download. Once you're set up, head to the Advanced tab. That's where the fun begins. There are different effects to choose from, but we went with Custom Blur, which gives you two options. Blur and Arrow. The blur effect softens the background of your window title bar, making it slightly translucent. You can adjust the blur radius to change how strong the effect looks. The Arrow option looks even closer to the original Windows 7 design. It adds more depth and glow to your windows, especially around the active window or app. When you're happy with how it looks, just go back to the main screen and click Save. The change applies instantly. In dark mode, the Arrow effect looks really slick. It gives your title bars that deep, glassy feel with just enough light passing through. In light mode, it's a little more subtle, but the blur still shows up and softens the top bar beautifully. Some apps like File Explorer and Notepad adapt well to this design. Others, like the Microsoft Store or Calculator, may stick to the default mica effect. And that's it. You've got Arrow Glass back, just like the old days, and now, surprisingly, like the new Mac OS. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike from WindowsLatest.com.